Hi guys, it's Tita Barbie again. I'm gonna give you some tips uh, on how to store some of your food in the fridge. And as we all know from groceries, we normally just put uh, our food to the fridge. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of tips as we all know that the coronavirus nowadays is now pandemic. So we make sure we're clean, we're protected, we protect ourselves, we protect our loved ones. But before that, I'm gonna show you some of my things which I bought from the supermarket this morning. And uh, sad to say, uh, some of these hand sanitizers are, they run out. So, but luckily I've still got this one. I got this from my uh, study day last year about infection control. And they were given, and we were given loads of like this. I think I had five. So what I did, I distributed it, I put it one in my handbag, one in the car, and I gave one to Jeannie for his self as well, and I left one in here. And then I bought this uh, antibacterial surface wipe. So, um, so what I do for this, you know, obviously the door handles are really, really dirty because we are really exposed from the outside. So what I do, when I arrive, I don't normally go to my bedroom. What I do, I normally wash my hands right away. And then after I wash my hands, uh, I clean the door handles. I don't know if I am OCD now, but that's what I do now. And then I also bought these things, the floor wipes. Um, our, our living room is carpeted, so I normally use this in our bedroom because it's, it's, it's a laminated floor. So I clean the bedroom and I clean this as well on the kitchen and in the toilet. But most of the time I use this for the toilet because it's quite strong, it's dental. So it, uh, it says here it kills 99% of MRSA, club shell, uh, pneumonia, and a lot of things e coli of course it's for the toilet so i normally use this and especially i use this in our um um what you call this one door handles as well so and also you know the um the door handles of the fridge because i think this is quite strong I i'm just guessing so i hope it's uh, I'm right <laughs> but anyway what I'm gonna show you I'll show you um, what's inside the fridge and how I do before I show you inside the fridge I'll give you some tips what I do now I, I don't used to do this before but what I do now before I put all my stuff in the fridge I normally now clean it or put clean it with wipes and then um, the, the eggs I normally put eggs in the fridge I know for some reason uh some supermarket they just stored eggs in the room temperature eggs eggs in the room temperature but for me i store it in the fridge ever since but now before i put it in the fridge i normally wash them one by one so i don't know if i am ocd but that's what i do now and then some of the uh, cartoon like the milk cartoon i clean them um it's like the coca-cola i clean them everything should be clean before i go to the fridge before i put them to the fridge and then the veggies if they are sealed i leave it like that but sometimes i uh, clean it but um it depends on my mood but i normally check if they're dirty i have to clean but if they're okay they're okay and then every now and then i check the expiration date so i'm gonna show you what's inside and how i stored my things okay i have no assistant at this time i'm on my own so i'm just gonna show you this Wait. hi these are the my families these are the people who i love most my families in the philippines so i'm gonna show you what's inside the fridge okay by the way the fridge should be four degrees and the freezer should be below 18 degrees if you don't have temperature in the fridge then you can buy you know the old school ref uh, you can buy a thermometers uh, i think you can buy that anywhere ebay or supermarket just check okay so i'm showing you now what's inside my fridge it's all organized it's it's clean i clean them one by one before i store so i clean them with wipes so first is my milk 
uh, I norm we normally use that for our cereal, some of the beers of Genie and some of the water. And um, we normally use now the semi long life because of this Corona thing so that we don't go to the groceries every day or every other day. And then the next shell will be our butter, our um, yogurt, and then uh, some drinks, the zero. The third shelves uh, are this, these are the leftover food. I got this labeler and I'll show you that later on because it's important to label some of your foods. I don't know, I don't normally exactly how to, 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 to take the date, but I just estimate it. If I cook that yesterday, I'll just count three days and that's after three days, it's spoiled. And then this one are these, um, these are fresh, no? We just bought this morning. We will not put that on the freezer because Jeannie will cook that tomorrow. So we'll just leave it there, it's all okay. I'm gonna make some cake and I'm gonna put this as a topping, the raspberries and the yogurt, my favorite humus and the drink. And this one, as I told you earlier about the, the eggs, I've washed them one by one because sometimes you can see there's some hair or any, you know, dirt. So I washed that before I saw on the fridge. And then I've just cooked this uh, dish. It's called Ginataang Hipon. So we normally, if I'm on the weekend, if we don't do like takeaways, I normally cook in the morning so that by the tea time, by, by a tea time, it's all clean. We just uh, reheat that and eat. And then after that, we just uh, sit back and relax and watch movies. And, I've ha and I have another caddy here. Uh, this is for my chilies. Oh God, oh, chilies is there. So I'm just gonna throw this one. Anyway, that's clean. And I've got this uh, tanglad. I forgot the English of tanglad, but we normally use those. And my my veggies areas these veggies um some of them are in the pocket so i don't normally wash them if they're in the pocket but if if they look dirty i take them out and then wash but uh, at the minute they're all clean but those um, eggplant have you seen aubergine i washed them and my last caddy here or normally before when i was young they call this the crispers but uh now i'll just put the veggies there and then i put the bottled water we normally use that for our long drive if you go somewhere else or if i have visitors or if i just want to drink but normally our tap is very clean in here even if you don't use the uh, filter they're all clean because um that's what they told us so that's all my bottled water that's for my visitors or even at work if i want to bring that work and these are my uh, other things there mayo my um tomato puree and this, I normally use this uh, to bring this in the, you know, on the night time before I go to bed, I bring this one. I normally fill this with water. They're all clean. I fill this with water by six o'clock or seven o'clock and then leave it and then bring it upstairs because I, I think it's a classic sign of diabetes. It's a, I cannot quench my thirst. So I normally bring that with Obviously, I leave the water there by 10 or 11, I bring the upstairs. And then I've got my lemon juice, my um, apple juice. And this area, I normally put some of my stuff for my cakes. And then I've got the raisins. This is for my banana bread. Or Sometimes I use that for my um, lumpia Shanghai. It depends on the mood. And also, I'll show you, I'm just gonna throw this thing. But, by the way, uh, this um, dip, don't throw, these are from McDonald. If you have like this, keep it in your fridge. Just check the, the dates. I don't think so, there's dates on here. But anyway, uh, you can bring that if you do like a road trip, you can bring that, right? And that's very handy. You can just throw that after and then you can dip anything you want to drip, to dip your crisp anything so that's very handy so as you see it's all clean so make sure you all clean you labeled so that there will be no bacteria uh will be thriving in your fridge and then from time to time check the di the expiration date okay so that's my other tip now we're going to the freezer 
my freezer also I organized them as well I put all my potato and my sweet potato my hash brown anything so that if I have visitors or anybody wants to eat they can just throw that in the oven and serve and I got my um, lumpia shanghai wrapper i've got my kamote ube i've got the spring rolls and these shelves are my chocolate i don't consume them it, sometimes uh, they'll stay there for more than a year so i just throw them if i find them and then i eat only a little sometimes you crave because we're just human so i eat a little and these are my frozen veggies and banana leaf and these are my meat section i include the um, the chicken on this area but at the minute i didn't buy chicken so i include chicken on this area beef meat uh, beef pork and chicken and this area and uh, these are only fish i don't uh, add any more rather other than fish because these are the fish area and these are the genie's area. Genie normally put there the lamb or anything he wants. So I don't want that to mix in here. And on this area is my uh, ice lollies and everything there. They're open. The chicken popcorn. We normally eat this for like um, if we want to. If we want to put that in our uh, wrap or anything. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. So it's all organized it's all clean make sure you make sure you, you maintain cleanliness and of course wash your hands wash everything so that we will not get all these viruses and bacteria okay then so i hope you learn a little bit from my simple tips i hope it helps but uh you know uh, it also helped before I'm, I'm gonna end this video it also helped that if you label your foods because most of the time we cannot consume so as we age we eat a little but we kept on eating so make sure you label i have like this the labeler so if you have a labeler um it's easy because you can just write things what you want to write and then um you, you can just uh put that in the in the in the bottle so it's it's really easy but if you don't have a labeler like this I would suggest you can just put, you know, you can use the scotch tape. Uh, uh, is that the scotch, like the color yellow thing that you just can write like that. So you can use the, or anything you want to make sure you label. So that would be helpful and easy. So this is just very simple and easy. And all you have to do is just uh, print this from your box like that or anything. And you have already the expiry expiry date so you will know so i hope guys you learn from my simple tips and i hope to see you in my next video oh, by the way don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much and have a happy weekend everyone